maze mimi nawapeleka tu direct the interview i don't know maze uh, if you can get me uh, tashina can you get me hello yeah tashina can you get me <laughs> what yes uh, greetings greetings all the way from jamaica how are you I am good. I'm good. I give thanks for life, you know. Yeah, Wake up man. Beautiful morning. Yeah. I give thanks for life. Uh huh. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Uh, maybe what's the time in Jamaica right now? Oh, I think the time right now in Jamaica is uh, one o'clock. One o'clock. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's amazing. You know, uh, Jah has his own uh, miracles and. Uh, in how it works but uh welcome to inner yard we've been anticipating to have you in a yard reggae show and also kenya has been anticipating to have you and uh we've been waiting so much for you so i believe you're ready for us to talk maybe yeah <laughs> yes yes Good. i am ready that's amazing so maybe we can just start uh because at the at the moment you have a new tune which has been knocking on your uh, on our doors uh, and uh the tune has been done by you and vibes cartel and um yes maybe, yeah yeah the tune is a match uh is it's fire the tune is fire maybe you can tell us briefly about it and maybe how did you meet up with the vibes cartel because he's the teacher of reading <laughs> Oh uh, well, I didn't really meet up with him. It was really my manager, JB Production. Yeah. Um, my management team. You know, they contacted um, Vibes Cartel's management team, Shabas yeah. Music and Vibes Cartel Music. Yeah. You know, and they thought about hey, they, they talked about the fact that you know we wanted to do a collaboration. Yeah. And so, you know, they decided that all right, you know, Vibes Cartel is a man that him him write a hundred songs a day. I'm have one only per song, so. <laughs> You know, we just give him one and yeah. just fit it together and it was it came out really nice. Okay, okay. Kindly just keep the camera there because Kenyans want to see you because uh, I already described about them uh, about about you coming to the studio. Yeah, so kindly just keep the camera there for us to see that particular all of Tashin about you, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for my other earpiece. Yeah, That's what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah. And maybe just up. to I'm so sorry about that. to tell uh, the Kenyans, uh, people out here, maybe who is Tashina at the moment? Well, Tashina is um, a recording artist. I'm really a singer. I'm yeah. really a reggae singer. Hello, yeah, Tashina. Can you get me? Yeah, a bit of technical hitch, but tato si jali mazi. Unajua, lazima tubonge na umbrembo manze. Lazima, unajua, Kenya sayi wa shanza kumisumbia hapa kwenye Instagram. Wanambia, eh, ni aja mazi, umtoto si anasumbua. But you know, lazima tubonge na tashina. Lazima siji ma director kama ako back. Yeah, man, so takwa tuna link up na ye, manze. Mtoto mzuri, continue sending your uh, questions. Continue sending uh, your messages about uh, Tashina. We have Tashina music all the way from Jamaica. And uh, we'll continue talking to her for us to understand her more and also to understand what uh, um, uh, the craft of our music maybe I'll see you so uh, maybe to Kingoja come through yeah just to remind you the topic of today maze what are the influences maybe in Ivitugan what the factors and the influence which have made uh, youth out here right now are getting into drugs maze kama undume to join sai that was our topic today just continue talking to us hashtag get to it's in a yard reggae talk to us our platform are all down there just talk to us to ambiamaze what do you feel ni factors ambazo zina influence my youth out here waweze kuingia ndani ya drugs na sijui kama tashina tuko naye tena yeah man tashina can you get us hello okay so uh We'll be getting back to her all the way from Jamaica, but uh, I don't know if I can pick up some uh, two, three people here now. Now Kundani, you hear me now? Jamix, Che, Maze, all the way from Lolongo, and I say, "Mako tuned in." Yeah. Kuna Munyesh Kevo, and I say, "Big up to yourself, Kundani." Pia kuna Mjanja all the way from Mombasa, and I say, "Mama Zeo, mtoto ni fire," but wacha tuendele na amerudi tena, sindi yo? Yeah, Tashina, can you get us? 
Yes, 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 I'm back. Bless I don't know what happened. To that. Oh, yeah, bless her. Yes, yeah, so you were telling us maybe uh, who exactly Tashina is. Maybe you can explain to our <coughs> inner yard reggae fans for us uh, to understand you more. Could you please repeat? Yeah, maybe you can just uh, tell us who Tashina is kindly. Well, Tashina is a songwriter yeah. and a singer. Okay. I've been I've been um I've been doing music ever since I was a little girl. Yeah. You know, um it's something that I I love very much to do. Yeah. Um you know, and I've been I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> I've been doing music for a while. Yeah. You know, but now I think it's the time that God is ready for me to showcase my talent to the world. Okay. So, you know, nothing happens before the time. Yeah. So kindly, if you can just uh, just remain at that particular yeah, position, okay. kindly don't move for us to have a, a clear view of you and also to have a clear interview, kindly. Can you get me? I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said. Could you please repeat? Yeah, I'm telling you kindly, if you, you won't move, you just uh, remain to one position for us just to finalize this particular interview, okay? Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you for that. Yeah. So maybe uh, where did the journey begin uh, in terms of music? Because you have been listening to your music, uh, you have done some of your projects. Uh, maybe where did the uh, music begin, Tashina? Well, I, it really began for me um, when I was in school. Yeah. Um, they would put me to do like special functions, like when it's Christmas or Easter. Yeah. They would involve students, um, you know, in, in the functions and stuff like that. And that's where it began for me, the love for music. Yeah. But professionally, I really entered the industry yeah. back in 2007 when I, I entered uh, Digital Rising Stars competition. Yeah. So that was that. Uh, that's amazing. You know, that that's amazing. And uh, maybe be because you've been doing, uh, yeah, we're talking about uh, your song with Vibes Cartel, which is a big banger. And also you have done good projects. Maybe what drives you to uh, come into the studio and maybe produce the music? What drives you uh, to your music? Well, really, um, it's, it's my passion. It's something that I love to do. It's my dream. Yeah. Um, you know, that keeps me going and also people, hello? Yeah, I can get you, I can get you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also people that have heard me sing, everybody keep on telling me, girl, you sound great. Keep doing your music yeah. and don't stop, don't give up, you sound great. So that's, what, that's, that's the main motivation for me that keeps me going. The fact that I believe in myself and that others believe in me. You know, it mm. keeps me going. Amazing. You know, I just um, keep trying to do my best at, at all times. Amazing, amazing to that. And uh, maybe at the moment, because we have some uh, few weeks remaining to the end of the year, 2020 has been um, one of the years which I think will still remain in the books of history. And uh, we've been having this pandemic, which has uh, brought a lot of things down. Maybe from your end Tashina has it affected you maybe in music wise in your projects yes definitely because I had some shows to do in the UK yeah. and Europe I was supposed to be doing shows from May until July as far as I know yeah. you know and then we would have loved my management team and I would have loved to do um, some more promotional sh shows and stuff like that so yeah. those have been limited all the shows that I'm supposed to do in England and in the U and in Europe yeah. they have been cancelled so I have been affected but what we do is we just try to conform like everybody else yeah. you know we just try to make the most of what we can make the most of and, and you know just try to work around it and be flexible so I've been doing more writing and more in studio yeah. um, recordings yeah. than outward shows and stuff like that so you know, it just we just kind of take a seat back, yeah, and just be doing more more writing, uh -huh. you know, and more recording in the studio okay. rather than more performing. Okay, and uh, because we've talked about uh, more writing, uh, more work to do in the studio, maybe are we anticipating about maybe an album to drop or maybe some EPs? Definitely. Which we have? 
Yes, my EP, my EP was supposed to drop um, toward the end of this year. Okay. But, you know, Corona and all of that have slowed down everything. So my EP is going to come out early next year. Okay. Right. So you guys can look out for that. <laughs> and I have a number of surprises. I don't really want to let the cat out of the bag yet, but I have some amazing collaboration coming, you know. Okay. Um, if you guys love any of my songs, yeah. <laughs> including the one with Vibes Carpel, you will love the others that are coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, man. And, uh, yeah, and uh, also, Kenya, you have a big fan base in terms of your music. Uh, we enjoy your music. Maybe uh, should we anticipate you working with a Kenyan artist at the moment? Have you maybe... Uh, think of an artist because we have great artists in uh, in Kenya who represent reggae music. Yeah, maybe have you thought of someone at the moment? Yes, yes. Actually, I I like Shata Walima. Yeah, yeah so, I like him. Uh, you like who exactly? But, I didn't get that. Yeah, I like his music. I like his style. Um, but but um, I will look into some other Kenyan artists and see yeah. because. I want to do something with a Kenyan artist. Yeah. So I'll be looking into that more. No, okay. I didn't get the artist though. Maybe tell us who exactly was the artist who you're saying uh, you, you like his music. That's Awali. Aha, uh -huh, Shatawali, amazing, amazing, that's good. But we have great artists all the way from Kenya. So just when you're planning the album, continue also adding a Kenyan artist. And uh, maybe just to, uh, uh, at the moment, we have a topic which we've been discussing here, maybe in terms of, um, uh, we had a topic at the moment which you were talking, uh, and the, t the topic today was um, the factors which, because I know you're singing to the youth out here, and the topic which we are discussing in a yard was, what exactly do you think are the factors which influence them youths in them drugs? And uh, maybe I know you represent them youths out there. So maybe, can you speak maybe something to the youth and maybe tell us maybe what exactly you can advise the youth out here because we have we've been reported a lot of cases of youths being in drugs maybe you can speak something to the youths who are listening to you right now well i know that from personal experience and this is something that has kept me through my entire life yeah is that with with god yeah everything possible so yeah. sometimes we get frustrated, sometimes we, we try and we don't feel like it is enough. Yeah. But once we put God at the center of all that we do, yeah. it is going to work. Because and you have to you have to have a spiritual connection with God and feel that and know and and have faith and be confident in the works that God is doing in your life and constantly oh. keep God yeah. in the midst, in the middle of everything that you're doing. And somehow yeah. You will get that reassurance with yourself knowing that you're on the right path and he will point you to where you need to go. Yeah. Because you see, especially when I pray, I pray that I don't I don't pray for certain things like, okay, God, I want a Grammy or I want this, I want that. I say, God, I pray that you take control of my life mm -hmm. and you point me in the direction that I should go. Give me the strength that I need to do your will. I'm a vessel. So at all times, I keep God in the center of everything. So once you have God in the center of everything, then you are definitely going where you need to go. You understand? Once you have God in the car, God as the driver taking you to where you need to go, then you will get to where you need to be. I don't want to be anything other than what God wants me to be. No. Honestly, because at the end of the day, God have my back. Yeah. And I know that God wants my best, what is best for me. Uh -huh. So That's sometimes as humans, we don't know what's best for us. So we have to put that trust in God. And some people probably say, oh, you're not a Christian and you're saying this <laughs> and you're saying that. But it doesn't matter. God loves us all. Yeah. No matter what we are, you know, come to, come to, come to him as you are. That's what he, the, the Bible says. So just do that. And uh, certain things will just fall in place. Yeah, that's very powerful. That's very powerful to get that from you. And uh, I have a... Uh, an intriguing question. I just want to ask you this because uh, Kenyan art, uh, Kenyan fans here have been have been DMing me right now. <laughs> yeah, the question is, I'll be very very open to you. Uh, is Tashina taken? 
<laughs> because a lot of people have been asking me there right now. So is the shit not taken? Because I just don't break Kenyans uh, people's hearts. <laughs> no, I am still on that journey. Yeah. I am still hoping that God will show me that person that is for me. Yeah. But one thing I am comfortable where I am and what I'm and in what I'm doing. Uh huh. <laughs> I am patiently waiting until that day when yeah. somebody pop the question and put the ring on his finger. Uh huh. <laughs> right? but, but for now, I'm just focusing on my music and just trying to to to, to stay focused on on that right now. No for case. Now. <laughs> Otherwise, you know. Okay, so Kenyan fans, guys, Tashina has made it clear. Has made it clear. But yeah, maybe uh, as we finalize, maybe where can we get you? Maybe in your social media platforms, maybe in Instagram, people, if you want to interact to your music, where exactly can we listen to your songs, Tashina? On all social media platforms, it's Tashina Music. And you know, my music is spelled with a Z and a K at the end, right? So it's just my name, T A S H I N A, Tashina Music. On Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Instagram. My YouTube channel name is Tashina Music. And my Vivo is Tashina Music Vivo. So there you go, Tashina Music. And you find me everywhere. And uh, in a yard, as we finalize, uh, when, we come, we, when we have an artist, you know, we normally uh, give them a segment to maybe do some a cappella about maybe a song, something maybe, uh, maybe something which you've been preparing or something new. Maybe do you want to drop up uh, something new? Maybe we can listen to an a cappella before you finalize, before you say goodbye. Um, my favorite song keeps me going, that keeps me motivated whenever I'm down, whenever I'm sad. I listen to my song and it helps me because um, when I write my song, I write it as a reflection of, you know, how I feel and something that everybody can relate to. So I have a song called Don't Give Up and I can sing it for you this morning. All right, ready? Yeah. Don't give up, don't give up, don't you give up now. So one day we're gonna make it some way, somehow. And I won't give up. I won't give in, no. Oh, with hard work and prayer, I know we're gonna win. Yeah, yeah. Life sets up for you to fall, for you to fail. But when you do, you got to get back up again. Run to success, it's such a tricky thing. You gotta stay focused, learn for all your lane. Someone try to distract you, call themselves friends. Come in a sheep clothing when I wolf them. Keep your eyes on the prize where a couple realize and go after your dreams. Don't you give up, don't give up. Don't you give up now. Cause oh, one day we're gonna make it some way, somehow. And I won't give up. I won't give in, no. Oh, with hard work and prayer. I know we're going to win. Yeah, man, that's an a cappella which will live forever in the yard. That voice, oh my. Thank you, thank you so much for you making time to join us all the way from Jamaica. We really appreciate Tashina. I believe when you drop a new song, when you, when you drop a new album, you'll always feature us, right? Yes, I love it. Bless I and thank you again. Thank you so much for having time with us, Tashina. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Yeah, man, that has been Tashina all the way from Jamaica. And, uh